Alex and Ben live in the same block and work at the same place. Alex left for work at 8am. Ben left for work at 8.30am. By this time, Alex had covered 20 kilometres and had two-thirds of his journey left. At what speed must Ben drive so that he meets Alex at their workplace at the same time? Okay, so I'm going to draw this. Now this is 8 a.m. and this is Alex. Now at 8.30 a.m. Ben start to drive or so. And Alex covered 20 km and a two-third of his journey left. So from 8 to 8.30, you know it's how many minutes? 30 minutes. And 30 minutes is actually half an hour. So this half an hour, all right, he has covered 20 km and it's one-third of his journey. So I can say 20 km reply one-third of Alex's journey. So, if I want to find 3 out of 3 of journey, you should know that this 20 km multiplied by 3 and is equal to 60 km. So, immediately you know that from here to here, the total distance is 60 km. So, I can conclude saying that the distance from their home to workplace is 60 km. Now for Alex, half hour represents one third of journey. So 3 out of 3 of journey, it reply one and a half hour. However, since Alex had already covered one covered half an hour, he will continue or he will complete the journey in one and a half hour minus half hour equal to one hour. That means in an hour he should be complete. Now, this is the same amount of time Ben has to complete in 60 km because we are told that they meet at the same time, right? So they have to complete it. Ben has to complete this 60 km in one hour. So therefore, we can calculate Ben's speed. Ben's speed is distance Alright, 60 km divided by time, 1 hour, so I have 60 km per hour. So, concluding, what, at what speed must Ben drive? So, Ben must drive at 60 km per hour.